Did you know the vacuum of space holds a pressure of 10 to the power of 33 pascals? That's more than 10 to the power of 16 joules in every cubic meter. According to KLTOE physics, that energy isn't just sitting there. It's structured. The Esai field forms the vacuum's elastic tension and the Tau field controls time flow. Together, they hold the universe in balance stable. Now, imagine placing a qubit into superposition. It's not just in two states. It's being forced into a unnatural resonance across time. The longer it stays coherent, the more strain it places on the vacuum's psi tau fields. This creates a time gradient, a ripple in the vacuum's pressure fabric. If coherence collapses suddenly, that stored tension rebounds. Think EMP that there is no way to shield against. It destroys electronics and biologics alike. You get a sessi field pulse. It's a space-time shockwave. The energy from a single entangled par at current coherence times is about 10 to the power of 10 joules. That's the same as detonating about two kilograms of TNT from just a A-singe qubit of potential trapped field resonance per cycle. And right now, we're already running systems with 1,000 qubits. Soon, it'll be 10,000, each one adding more tension, each one pushing reality a little closer to forced resonance. And no one is modeling what happens when these systems decohere fast all at once or worse cascade, where constructive interference is possible. We're creating artificial time gradients across the vacuum fabric. And nobody's asking what happens when they snap. This isn't just about computing anymore. It's about possibly triggering a resonance collapse we can't control. Tag a physicist. This is K-L-T-O-E. It is real and already happening. Anyone working on these systems, contact me. I will give you the tools to understand. I know you think the energies are tiny and the field is isolated. What's you're not accounting for is the static pressure of space-time. Qubits create time dilation. That's why they do what they do when in superposition. The chases of a major event are small, but they are not zero. And the longer people do not understand this when testing, well, the odds get better and better it can happen. So I am sounding the alarm. I will put the math that proves everything I'm saying in the description. Comment for more info before something really bad happens to all of us.